at the end of it all, at the end of the day, he's not the best rapper. He's not this mean, ruthless, cold-hearted MC. He's not uh, this killer. You know what I'm saying? That they want him to be lyrically. He don't have it. He don't. He's not one of those. He proved it. It's over. The 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 the, the illusion, the the allure, the, the disguise. It's over. Not finished as an artist. He's just not one of those. I'm not gonna go into it in my mind and try to like work it to make sense by dissecting J. Cole because I've been saying this about J. Cole. I've been saying that he don't got it. I've been saying he's not in the big three. I've been saying that I don't consider him. I've been saying that he needs to step up. And he's been, quote unquote, letting me down. There's nothing for me to dissect. I'm going to take the music that I think is good from him off of that might delete later. When the fall off come out, I'm going to take that music as well. Because I think he's still a good rapper. I think he's still a good rapper at the end of the day. At the end of the day, nobody could take away his abilities from him. But when it comes to shit like this, and you stacking up against the other top MCs that are other big names, you fall short. And I'm not going to entertain the idea that he is one of those guys. He's just not. He's just not. This dit, what, not, not really this diss, but this response. I don't want anybody to pretend to be somebody that they not because it works for the sake of what like rap disses and rap beefs are supposed to be. It don't happen. It's not going to work. Cold on got it, okay? We're going to face the facts now and stand on the hill and die on the hill. Cole does not have it. But I'm not about to sit up here and keep dissecting his sh to the level that I would for a nigga that I think does have it. I, it's just so hard for me to take this diss and really be like, nah, there's no, you, you, you of course you didn't watch Kendrick. Like, no sh I didn't expect him to do anything to Kendrick. Realistically speaking, I'm I'm glad that he responded. He put his big boy pants on. He said, I guess I got to go do this. He looked at his dad and said, yo, I got to fight him, Pops, in the front yard. You either got to fight him or you got to fight me. What? That's what he had to do. He did what he had to do in the moment. Was it good? No. Was it amazing? No. Did he do what he had to do? Whatever. This, this, this is the equivalent of a nigga... Fighting back against somebody he might not fight back against if people weren't watching. J. Cole may might delete later. And for whatever reason, he decided to put the diss track to Kendrick on the album. He decided to put the diss track to Kendrick on the album or on the project or the mixtape that he re he released, the B-sides, the scraps, the, the records that weren't good enough to make the cut, the lyrical exercise record. He decided to put that on there. And so he can't be surprised, and neither can Cole fans be surprised at the conversation that people are having are about the, 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 the diss that he dropped as opposed to the music that he made because he allowed it to overshadow his own his own project. If it was good, I get, I get how that would be a benefit to J. Cole. If it was amazing, if it was really, really crazy, if he said some mind-breaking, like groundbreaking shit about Kendrick, which after more consideration, you really could say and dive deep into, especially with how much Kendrick has laid his foundation and his life out within his lyrics already, you have plenty of material to go at, to be honest. But unfortunately, he used that album drop opportunity as a way to put the disc record on top of it now nobody's talking about any of the songs that i personally think are great and pretty good for cole on might delete later now you could say the most part or you could say for the most part that a good majority of might delete later is rooted in cole basically saying hey guys look at me i know how to rap you know um you could say that and i don't think that that's not factual in fact I'm going to go ahead and show you a diagram. I won't say it's a diagram, but I'm going I'm to do my best to put into perspective how I feel about all of the quote, the quote unquote big threes music. I got Kendrick right here. Boom. We're going to say K for Kendrick, D for Drake, and then we're going to say J for Cole, right? This is Kendrick's discography career versus all lined up or summed up to me. If we got verses and everything starting by number and we say, okay, I'm grading everything 
by ones, twos, and threes. Let me just show you. This is what I mean. Kendrick's quality is all the way up here regularly. All the way up here regular, regularly. You can hear it in his verses. He puts in a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of thought. You know what I'm saying? He dives into all these different parts of his brain to grab all these different uh, concepts and, and weave them together almost flawlessly. I say almost, almost flawlessly on a lot of his records. But he's pretty consistently up here, and this is the range that I usually judge Kendrick off of. Now with Drake, I don't judge him based off of really how good his verses are. I judge him based off how good his songs are and how entertaining he generally can be. Whether it's in a positive or a negative direction, I'm looking at Drake like this. Drake has the ability to be all over the place, but when he's high, he's great. When he's low, he's horrible, but he has the ability to be amazing and the ability to be awful. And I think it's interesting when people go into his records because you don't really know what you're going to get in terms of quality. It's hard to judge what you're going to get, but you know you're going to get something to talk about at the very least. That's the advantage of a Drake. People are not going to not talk about his music, whether negative or positive. That's his advantage. When people talk about Kendrick, how good is it? When you got Mr. Morale and people talking about the concept and how interesting it was, some people are like, okay, well, this one wasn't as good as The Pimper Butterfly or as good as Good Kid, Mad City, so I'm going to rank this new album here. I'm going to rank this new one right here, blah, 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 blah. But for the most part, they rate him on a grading scale. Drake, they don't use a scale. They're just like, what's most entertaining? With J. Cole, unfortunately, this is how people judge J. Cole. This. No grading system. No ranking no expectation of like extremely high quality it's just this this is the slate this is the slate he's been on this slate for years not 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 a jump up in excitement or quality it's just it's just this it's straight line it's flat line the entire time and while i respect j cole's pen and i respect his lyrical ability and i respect the fact that recently it seems that he's been on an uphill trajectory the content of his music has not changed. The um, layers of his music has not changed. The risks that he has taken have been the same. The ideas that he's dived into have been the same. Everything about J. Cole from like maybe a, a decade ago, damn near, has been the exact same up until this very moment. But what I will give him credit for is he's been a better writer and he's gotten better with punchlines. I mean, Life of Pi, I mean, that's a great record, right? That's an awesome record. But this is how I look at all of them. The reason why I had such a hard time trying to establish what my reason for not wanting to post YouTube videos on my main channel anymore was I found myself entertaining too often records that are similar to what J. Cole often gives. Too many records that I just feel nothing about that either aren't too good or aren't too bad. Um, they're just regular. They just exist and I accept that they exist and they're not too bad. They're not too good, but there's nothing to talk about. Now, the issue with the diss is that while the diss does remind us that J. Cole is one of the biggest artists and that he can have a moment that goes all the way up here in terms of levels of interest. This is the shittiest diagram I think I've ever seen in my life. But when you see that J. Cole can actually go up here in terms of levels of interest, it overshadows the regularities that we already expect from his music. So we have you having a high point in your musical career or in your in your album off the back of a off the back of a record that we already know is kind of regular. You overshadowed your own regularities because you wanted to make a diss towards Kendrick Lamar. And I don't think he wanted to do that. And here's the issue with the diss. This is the biggest problem with the diss. The biggest issue with the diss, unfortunately is he feeds into the narrative on Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. It's really funny that he said that the album was tragic because J. Cole doesn't even want to respond. J. Cole doesn't even want to dive into a back and forth with Kendrick Lamar because it's not real. It's not genuine. He don't feel that way. But just like... Kendrick talks about on Mr. Morale talking about all these ideas of toxic masculinity and how I felt that I had to do some things because I was a man. This is J. Cole to a T when it comes to his response. He doesn't want to do it. He has to because of these false 
ideas of what he thinks a man is supposed to do in response to somebody disrespecting him and in reality he didn't really even get dissed like that i didn't say anything about mr morale being good or not i said that he's 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 providing kendrick an additional point he's adding to the points that were on the album if you listen to mr morale and the big steppers and you hear what kendrick is talking about j cole very comfortably fits within some of the content on that album by making a diss that it seems as if he didn't want to make that it seems as if he didn't want to say anything about i mean it just seems like he got what do you call that peer pressure and this is really why i didn't want j cole to respond even though i expected him to i didn't want him to respond because i don't want him to manufacture negative feelings towards somebody that he admires or respects i don't want that because then you get disc records like this that completely overshadow your music in which i think you've been the best that you've ever been in your career rapping wise flow wise technical ability j cole is the best now that he has ever been it's really annoying seeing people change the narratives of like okay the disc was bad so his album is bad the disc was bad so the the, the records on the album aren't listenable the disc was bad so j cole just can't be listened to he's a joke there's nothing here to take from he's got no good moments on the album and you did it to yourself the real person that people want to reply from is Drake. The per the person that I thought he, that that I thought received the most so shots on like that was Drake. Now J Cole is back comfortably at this quote unquote third spot in the big three. If you believe in that still, J Cole is now a hundred percent comfortably sitting in that spot because of a shitty response. He says in the quote unquote song, like I don't take it serious only because he literally says one first person shooter that basically he admires the fact that Kendrick is in the conversation with him and Drake as being a part of the big three. We the big three to like, like we started the league. I got to force myself to be something that I'm not just so that I can go back and forth with you. It's hard to go from that level of admiration on a song with Drake and Kendrick is nowhere in sight to then being like, oh yeah, yo shit, I don't, yo shit, like what, yo shit was just like, yo shit was like, yo shit was like, whatever. Light work, like it's PWC. Nope, yeah, yeah, no. Nope. See, they don't even, they, bro, they, light work, like it's PWC. Like nigga, he's not even 10 words in. You feel me? Like, bro, chill. Nigga said nope after not even 10 words. He closed the laptop. Cuz, what are we listening to? It's not that serious. Not even what? Two lines, three lines into a song. And you've paused it three times to have a deep dive about light work. When did Cole, who's never even really been in that conversation, get dissected to this high of a level? I like the fact that Kendrick said what he said on like that. I like that Kendrick stood on his business. I like that Kendrick has the sentiments that he has. But at the same time, I'm like, boy, I don't think I've ever done that with a Kendrick Lamar verse. I don't think I've ever done that with anybody's verse. The dissection has been incredible. But I'm asking, when did we start dissecting J. Cole? My heart, you know what I mean? And like, I know how I feel about my peers. These two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase chase their greatness right <laughs> so I, felt I told you he's a nice guy blood. he's a nice guy I feel spiritually feel bad on me like like i try to like jab my nigga back and I, that shit don't sit right with my spirit that shit make me feel that shit disrupts my fucking peace y'all are not about to call him corny for that and, and, and that shit how many people think kendrick lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touch a fucking microphone Y'all not about to call him corny for that. You just not. I did not expect that though. The lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it made, I say all that to say, it made me feel... It ain't as simple as deleting it. Oh, no, man. I can't listen to this. He got to sue the audio team. I know that for a fact. He got to get He got to get them back. Because there's no way. There's no way. I don't, I don't know what they was on. I don't know why they felt the need to interfere with the entirety of the sound for the performance on this. But they need to be got in immediately, as soon as possible. Um, that that's a bigger priority than the Kendrick response, to be honest. Blink just said, not gonna lie, this gotta be the most lamest thing I ever seen in hip hop. All the dude Kendrick said was to prove yourself and your fans that you are top three artists and bro took it personal and lost sleep. J. Cole not even top ten at this point. That's cap. Um, I don't think he's top ten. But it, J Kendrick wasn't saying that. He Kendrick wasn't asking Drake or Cole to prove themselves or prove him wrong. Kendrick said, You are wrong and there's nothing you can do to change my mind you are not one of those guys i don't care what you come out with he was sunning both of them niggas he don't want them to reply to it and tell him that he's wrong he's saying i don't care what you do what you've released what you will release you'll never be better than me 
Kendrick is so much more hostile. Honestly, for J. Cole to manufacture feelings that are on the same level, if he really doesn't feel that way, makes it come off as untrue. I honestly think that um, J. Cole, it puts a damper on him, at least when it comes to his project, to say some shit like, oh, I really don't think that you like that after I've given you credit my entire career. It makes you look crazy to just like act like that has never happened. Like you never admired a nigga. Like you never looked to his his work and been like, oh yeah, I gotta get better. Blah 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 blah. I'm not saying that Kendrick is like the standard for all rappers, but to pretend like any of the bodies of work that you mentioned in your diss are weak, you know what I'm saying? Is it's untrue. You're making yourself believe some shit. And he's talking up there about how he got peer pressured. You think it's you think that shit like easy to to get out of? That's just very difficult to come out from underneath of. You can't just like out of nowhere just drop your ego and never care about anything that people say about you, or if someone like disrespects you or says something crazy to you, um, a lot of people's response wouldn't be as hostile if nobody was watching. He just proved that point, and maybe he got baited. I don't know. Maybe he got baited. Maybe Kendrick knew he was gonna reply like that. Maybe he knew he would regret it. You know what I'm saying? Long term, but. I feel that way. Um, we said it, you know, some hours ago. I said that he don't have that in him. And I'm glad that he confirmed because it's the la it's the worst thing in the world to have to continue to be somebody for other people's pleasure. You are not like that, so don't even do it. It's just not even for you. That look don't suit you. It just don't it it it, it, it don't make sense. Now what the issue with this is you regret the track. Like literally this hasn't even been a it hadn't even been a week. It's been my nigga forty eight hours damn near like 48 72 hours like you ain't even let it simmer you know what i'm saying eminem dissed his own mama on a track and came back 20 years later damn near talking about how he regretted it not three days you know what i'm saying it just it it, it reinforces the point that you really didn't want to do this you really didn't want to be on this type of timing you know what i'm saying so that's great you know it's a version of me that's that's kind of in the in agreement with people that might be thinking like okay maybe you only feel this way because the track wasn't received well Maybe if the consensus around it was that, oh, okay, this was a good diss and people liked what you had to say and there was no pushback to it, maybe you wouldn't be saying that at all. But regardless of which one it is, it's both still forms of peer pressure. Peer pressure can make you keep something up that might make you compromise your beliefs or your values. And that might have made him that might have gave him more confidence to keep it up, blah, 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 blah. But in the same way, it can make you want to just remove it. Because maybe I don't feel that way. Maybe it's just not something that's in me. I don't I don't I don't have to be on that. And that's good because he didn't ever really say anything to J. Cole from the very beginning of when Kendrick made that diss. I said, I do not want J. Cole to, re re to respond to this. He's a good fucking guy. And I think it's better and more respectable for J. Cole to know himself. Anybody that's asking J. Cole to not be himself in this moment is literally the, the same group of people that's like, They'll look at a situation. They don't give a shit about the people that are involved. They're just like, yeah, nah, like, just do it for my entertainment. Crash out for me. It's just not, it, it, he, he a grown man. If he don't feel like he up to it, then that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't force a nigga to do nothing. But you never gonna be in that conversation again. You feel me? That's one thing that J. Cole has to understand. By, by saying what you said just now, you will never be in that big three I'm one of the best. When a nigga came to your house, knocked on your door, and said what he said before, you didn't answer. And that's okay. You don't want to be in that situation. I get it. Perfectly fine. That's not a good look on you. Cool. You're not the one. Leave that for Drake and Kendrick to argue over who's top two. J. Cole, I definitely think that he could be one of those rappers that's like most consistent. He could definitely keep improving. That's great. When it comes to this shit, you gotta sit it out. You just have no choice at this point. I don't want no I don't want none of the Cole fans coming coming to bat saying, oh, he really killing Kendrick. Uh, who was really listening to to, to, to Bibba Butterfly? Drake is not top two. Stop. I'm not saying that Drake is top two. I'm saying let those niggas argue over who might be top two. I didn't say he was or he wasn't, but he at least is trying to make a claim for it. He not going to let Kendrick bitch him like that. I'm not saying he bitch J. Cole, but J. Cole didn't need to respond. Drake not letting that happen. That's just the fact of the matter. He not going to be on stage talking about, oh, I really respect Kendrick Lamar. Drake is going to feel that shit.
I don't think it has anything to do with peer pressure at all. I think Drake is genuinely just that sensitive. And he's going to look at it and be like, nah, this nigga disrespected me. Fuck this nigga. That's what he's going to do. That's how it is. There is nobody else, I don't even think, in the mainstream rap stratosphere, not even Kendrick as, 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 as deep and spiritual as he is, would get on a track and talk about how he how he regrets the the comments that he made towards somebody i don't think like most niggas are gonna be, they're gonna move past it and they might revise their thinking over time they're not gonna get on stage and say i'm sorry that wasn't me um i respect who i just dissed nobody's gonna say that look if i was kendrick i would feel like i am being played with cause dropping a diss then showing love is crazy no it it's would not feel like he's trying to have the last laugh by not getting a response back no no, what's crazy is showing love and then dropping a diss. That's what's crazy. What's crazy is a nigga on an album referencing you in the big three while you probably were excluded from the track. Then you make a response. And on that track that the nigga gave you love on, that same nigga has to pretend to hate you right now. That's what's weird. I don't think there's anything wrong with J. Cole sticking to reality personally i don't think j cole said anything within his verse that i think warrants an apology but as i said before it didn't feel genuine it didn't feel like him so hey man stay stay true to yourself at the end of the day <laughs> fuck the internet and all that other shit stay true to yourself all the banter about i'm the best rap like mm, that shit sound good but we know it's filler he didn't fold actually no him 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 making that diss track to Kendrick was him folding. Him sticking true to himself is is him being true to himself. Him saying, my bad, that's not me, is not him folding. That's him being real. The other shit where he's dissing and he don't really mean it, that's him folding. Folding to peer pressure. He was getting hate for responding and people not liking it. Now he's getting hate because he apologized for the response. There's no winning with it. There's no winning with niggas, bro. Oh, brother, they gonna, have, they gonna be on this one for years. Kendrick said I to himself, he a paranoid nigga, he gonna take us weird. You know what this gonna do? I don't think I've ever seen this happen before. I've never seen it happen where a nigga apologized for the diss record he made. Has that ever happened before? Like three days after or some shit, and a nigga goes on while he's apologizing to big up the nigga that he dissed. I don't think that's ever happened in rap before. Logic and Joyner Lucas? No, no, they went back and forth. They went back and forth for a little minute and then they pieced it up. Didn't Jay-Z apologize to his mom for his diss record? Not something that you said about somebody that you know. It's just like, oh, this, this, this nigga caught a stray. This person caught a stray, so I apologize for that. But he was directly aiming and talking to him and then said, nah, bro, I take all of that shit back. And you one of the greatest of all time. That's never happened. Jay-Z and Nas squashed their beef live at a show together. That's cool, but they, neither one of them got on stage at one of their performances and said you know what i'm sorry for everything i said to that nigga that wasn't me i actually respect him and he's one of the greatest mcs of all time that wasn't me three days after they made their diss to one another none of that has ever happened bro it's never happened before and i just feel bad because he's already gotten the hate for having made the track in itself now you're gonna get hate for saying sorry about the track that you made like i there is no Eminem apologize. Dub. Nah, bro. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much hate you get, you got to be real with yourself. And if it wasn't him, it wasn't him. Imagine Kendrick sampled the apology. <laughs> God, God, please don't. I'm just praying that Kendrick is a is not going to be petty about this.